Alright, so for this video for Nomad Sculpt uh, modeling, we're going to make a little toaster. As you can see in our top right or top left, we've made like a top view and a side view, a little 3D view. So it, it's pretty simple. Um, we're going to but we're gonna use this to make it. Um, so first thing is, let's try to flatten this out a little bit. So a little bit like this. Let's stretch it out this way. So moving. Right. That's good. But if we're going to do that, we need to do that on the X and Y plane. No, the C plane. Okay. So, so before we move it, let's see, there we are. All right. A little better. Now it looks a little more like the toaster we're thinking about. All right, that's good. Let's add, let's see, name it correctly, toaster body. So, all right, and now we're gonna make those two little intentions right there, or those little cuts. So what we can do, let's go here, go to sphere, at that, make that way smaller, yep. Like this, go to top. Okay, then validate, go back to mirroring, Make sure it's just the Y plane, right? Okay. Oh, this is too big. Go up. Go to unseen. That's good, okay. Right. Duplicate that. Move it up. Actually, we gotta be able to see both of them. Up. Yeah, this is good. All right. Then cross these out, add them all together, do a mm, voxel merge. There you got it. Your toaster. Okay. Um, now let's add our little base down here. So what we can do is uh, another box, that's good, the top has to be bigger than that. Make it thinner though. Bring it down. Actually, make it a little bigger. Okay. And that's good. All right. Now go to the body here. Okay. We can flatten this out a little more. Make sure that the X and C are selected. Okay, that's good. Mm, let's do some brush work here. Um, smooth, yeah. Print.
close to here. Okay, this isn't bad. Kind of looks like a toaster slash ham on a plate or something. But hey, you're learning, so don't worry about it. It's it's a close enough toaster. We could have made this out of a square, but hey, you're learning. Um, and that would actually be really, really be easy. Okay, so now let's add a knob. So, towards the bottom. Toaster base. All right. Uh, we need to add a button. So, cylinder. Get it way smaller. Uh, oh. Right here. Make sure it's 90 degrees. All right. Left. And there's your um, button for adjusting how burnt it is. Uh, okay. So, button burner. <laughs> Points. Then we need to add back here uh, the little flip. So we can do something simple. Let's see what we can do for that. Oh, uh, yeah, another cylinder. Okay, squish that. Make it smaller. We'll just do one, oh, one big piece. Get it back. That's good. That should be able to go up and down like that. So let's duplicate that. Nine degrees. Okay. Now take that out. Body. Oh no. We're gonna add those together and then box and merge again. Poster over here. So it has somewhere to go up and down. And yeah, validate. That's pretty much it. Okay. So we made our horribly looking toaster that looks like a piece of giant loaf of ham or bread. So we're gonna call this the loaf toaster. Alright. Um all right, so we're good. Now what we can do is do some coloring. Let's make this a little reddish color. That's good. Force paint. Uh, same thing. Force paint. That will be, let's actually make it into a Loaf. Yeah. That's good. Horse paint. And then the bottom here. Let's just make it into a... Yeah, that's fine. 
All right. And clean. And there you have it. We have our toaster. Um, and I guess we can do something really simple real fast. Uh, so go to primitives, box, squish right here, right. Everything else disappear. Let's just work on this. All right. So validate right. Go up a little bit. And then we'll do some what we call trimming. Lasso too, so. Right, that looks that looks pretty good. Um, right, and then do voxel so geometry will what do you call will get fixed up smooth. Okay, let's make some clay and. down intensity there our bread has edges here cool all right then let's put everything back There's a print brush. Oh, wrong one. Okay, so let's go to paint instead. Here, not actually clay. Go to clay, sub. Right, and then go to paint, Maybe a little darker. So it's a little burnt there. Because there's butter there, so that's why it looks like that. But we burned it too much, unfortunately. Have it. We have 
duplicate that. All right, okay, now, now we're done, done. Uh, we've made some burnt toast with um, burnt toast with a uh, loaf of, <laughs> loaf um, with a, with a loaf um, toaster. All right, all right. So uh, if you have any questions, you know, go ahead, leave some comments. Um, if you have any suggestions on what I should do model next, badly or somewhat good, let me know too. Uh, what I'm going to do next is make it ready so that if you want it, you can uh, download the model for yourself. So let's go ahead and do that. So if you want to follow here, you can, otherwise you're good. So add these two together, box will merge because they're one thing itself. Then go to, actually, yeah, right here, settings, unwrap Atlas. And we're gonna do this for each uh, object in the scene. Again, UV unwrap. Remember, it has over 100 vertices. It will take some extra time, so it's just a little time consuming there. Remember, if you want to decrease the amount of vertices and stuff like that, uh, you can hit decimate. So, um, rip. That's pretty fast. Okay, and then last, the toaster base. So, let's see, 134. So, let's decimate it a little bit. Still good, still keep its shape. Alright. Ah, that's good enough. Okay, and then UV unwrap. Let's see? Nice. Alright. So now we have everything UV unwrap. And we can export it as a GTFF. And this file will be right, um, available for download if you want it. Um, so yeah, best of luck and thanks for watching.